So guys, you've probably come to this video because you want to know how to download iOS or Android apps on your computer and that is exactly what I'm going to tell you and show you how to do in this video. So first of all, you need to be on a computer here and you also need a browser to go to a website to get this um, app. Now, uh, let's use Google Chrome for this and in Google Chrome, just in the top bar here, we're just going to type in blue stack okay so uh, it's the first one that comes up it's uh, bluestacks.com okay and this is the best Android emulator on PC as rated by you so it is completely safe this uh, you can download the actual bluestacks 3 or try the bluestacks um, beta version I'm not going to try the beta version and I'm just going to go ahead and download uh, bluestacks 3 and um, it shows you there how how you do it um, on the the actual computer and on the app but I'll just show you how to do this here so let's click download BlueStacks so this will start downloading here and I will come back to you when this has finished okay then guys so this um, app has finished downloading and if you have iobit on here it does say there that the download file is safe please feel free to use so now we're going to um, open this so this blue stacks thing so just click open uh, in Google Chrome and it will come up with this do you want uh, to allow this app to make changes to your device just just click yes if uh, if anything like that comes up you can close Google Chrome and it comes up with this little box and you need to click install now and um, this will take approximately about two minutes so again I'm just going to leave this running um, but I'm also just going to skip this bit um, so that you don't have to see all of this. Okay, so this app has finished downloading and we can now click complete. And now it says starting the engine. Please wait and the first boot may take up to two to three minutes uh, depending upon your PC's performance. Now, um, if anything comes up here like adverts, you can just um, get rid of them. I'm not entirely sure who those people are. Um, so um, it should come up any second now. Um, so this thing is basically an, an emulator. So it, um, it mirrors like an Android screen. So here it, it's come up with that you need to log in with your Google account to begin using BlueStacks. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do that on here. Um, so let's just choose the language. So we want English United Kingdom. Come on. So here it says log in with your Google account to begin using BlueStacks. So again, we already know that it's using... Uh, Google Play Store to do this um, so let's go ahead and go on here so we need to sign in with Google so I'll put my um, thing in here okay so once you've entered these details you can click the next button and it says here by signing in you are agreeing to the Google Terms of Service and that's all okay so it's signing in and then it says, well, normally it says couldn't sign in because I've got uh, two-factor authentication on. So now I need to um, say yes on my app. I've got my phone. And then it should work. Okay, there we go. Signing in. And then it should come up with this. Just say yes to all of these. And then it basically starts a new tablet for you. So the tablet uses your name to personalize some apps. So just, just put in your name and then we are finally on the app. Now here it normally freezes so we need to close the app. So once we set it up we need to close it. And then we need to open it up once again. Okay again I have no idea who these people are. Um, so now that we've actually downloaded it. It should all be set up for when you want to download any apps. So... Let's just wait for this to do. Okay, so it comes up with here, just close that. And then in the search bar here, we can search any app that we want to download onto our PC. So for example, let's choose Candy Crush Saga. Okay, so that will search the Play Store for that and it's come up here. So we can click install. Comes up with the Google Play Store here. And we can click install on there. Click accept.
and then it will download. So 71 megabytes shouldn't take long at all, really, with my with my internet. Um, <clears throat> so this app is really cool. Um, not Candy Crush, the BlueStacks, because it uh, allows you to download any app off the Android Play Store. Uh, some do the Apple uh, uh, Store, but th this one obviously doesn't. I thought it did, but never mind. This is for uh, Android, but you can run most Android apps on iOS as well. Um, so, if we click open, this is Candy Crush. So, this is opening up the game Candy Crush. Um, this is the actual game here. It comes up there. The Blue Stacks Candy Crush has been installed. Okay, so I'm not going to log in with Facebook or anything like that. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to play the first level to show you that it actually works. So, just skip that and then let's go on with playing the game. It's It's surprisingly pretty quick as well, this. Um, it's very cool. So, we've nearly done. We've got two more moves to do. One more move. And then, we are done. Okay, so that's the first level. And everything is legit on there. So, click the X. It is entirely Candy Crush on there. Um, but, let's just close that. And let's download, for example, something that I was wanting to show you. Which was Instagram. Okay, so this is Instagram here, and let's install it, so it will install there. So, um, Instagram is just installing right there, and then it should be finished any second now. Okay, so it's finished, and we can click Instagram. And this will open Instagram. So this is actually on my computer. And I'm using Instagram on here. But wait for it. So we can enter our details. Add me on um, Instagram if you want. Okay, and then once you've entered your details, we can click login. Just like normal Instagram. And it has come up here. Okay, so this is um, just like the actual version of Instagram here, um, it is absolutely fantastic. You can like, you can comment, um, you can um, save things, you can view your profile, you can edit your profile, you can go on to here. Uh, thank you for starting following me, I'll follow you back. Um, but you can also search things on here. So, for example, on um, World Snooker, you can actually look under here and you can click on these. You can like photos, you can um, comment again, and you can send it to other people. But the main thing on Instagram is that you can DM now. Okay, so if I do just a normal message here, and if I message, for example, um, uh, Instagram, and I go, hello, I'm using this on my computer, I can actually send that to them, and they will be able to view it. So it is basically a fully functional version of Instagram on your computer which i think is absolutely fantastic so if you found this video helpful or if you enjoyed it in any way or in fact if it worked for you then please leave a like on my video and subscribe to my channel for more content i'm currently on i think it's 200 subscribers if i could get to a thousand that would be absolutely fantastic so please follow me on instagram as well at charlie m uk 147 and also view my website which is charliematthews.co.uk also i'd just like to notice uh, note that this actually can view um photos and videos and you can actually change things like the volume on here which is absolutely fantastic so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one which should be coming up very shortly on the channel so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one see you later